Hey everybody in the YouTube world, follow my page if you're enjoying um, these videos. Someone requested hands, okay, posing hands and go figure. I happen to have one of those videos that I posted several years ago, so let's check it out. Enjoy. We're going to um, talk a little bit about hands and the hands are part of what, what I've learned as the Tuzi rule. Big shout out to Ralph Romaguerra in New Orleans for telling me the Tuzi rule a million years ago. Basically, what the Tuzi rule states, I'm gonna park my nurse right there, is if you got two of something, two eyes, two shoulders, two hands, hips, knees, feet, you got two of something, you want those two things on a different plane from each other. So, if she's standing perfectly straight, notice her hands are on the same plane, her shoulders are on, her shoulders are on the same plane, her eyes are on the same plane. So, I typically work from the ground up whenever I start flipping, flip flopping the Tuzi rule. So, to begin with, we're gonna take your right knee and we're gonna bend it. Now, notice what, as soon as you just bend the right knee, the hip goes out to the left. There we go. So now you got the knees on one plane and the hips on a totally another plane. Now what happens after the hips tend to do that is then this shoulder, this left shoulder, tends to drop into here, okay? Then what you can do is you can put the hands on your hips, got one hand high and one hand low. Thumbs in the back, thumb in both hands. Like that, wrist down. Okay, then you can tip the head on an even different plane. So now what we have is we've got the eyes on one plane, shoulders on another plane, hands on another plane, hips on another plane, knees on another plane, and so you get this kind of effect all the way through. By doing that, you end up with a much, much, much better and way more interesting image than if they're just standing there. And most of the time, I tell you, it cracks me up the number of photographers who just say, go over there and do something pretty. Do you think Marissa knows the Tuesday rule? I don't think so. So she don't know what to do. So she goes over there and just kind of tries to do something pretty and it doesn't look nearly as cool. So that's the Tuesday rule. Along those lines, it, it needs to be thought about and, and noticed in almost every scenario, the hands. The ugly part of the hand is the for inside of the hand, the back of the hand. The pretty part of the hand is the side from the little finger or depending on what the situation is, sometimes from the thumb. So try to make sure that whatever you do as far as hands are concerned, that you're only looking at the side of the hands, okay? So a lot of times what people will do, I have a grab your hair for me, both hands. They'll grab their hair and this is exactly what they'll do, bam, back of the hands, all right? Now the reason you don't want this is because the back of the hand is about the same size as the face, okay? And so what you have is competition with the face and the hands. So to fix that, all you have to do is tell them to bend that wrist in, bend that wrist in. Now you got the pretty part of the hands, okay? And so it's less volume of hand taking away from the, what happens on the face. So that's what we talk about when we say hand shaping. The next thing is arms. Marissa, if you will, just put your arms real close to you. Now Marissa has an awesome body, okay? Very tiny, very petite. But if you have her arms up against her body, you've now increased her size by about three inches here and about three inches here. She's actually grown by six inches. Can you imagine overnight becoming six inches wider? Not good. So what you do is you pull this away from the body, pull this away from the body, making sure you follow the Tuesday rule. Now you have space right here that you can see through and your brain allows you to see through there and now she's back to that hourglass shape. Wider here, slimmer there, wider here, just like the female form is supposed to be. Now when it comes to radical stuff, you can do all kinds of radical stuff. You can take hands, you can put them up over your head, show me. Awesome, like that. You can take, put hands in your hair, like grab, kind of go, yes, thank you. Make sure you follow that Tuesday rule. There's that Tuesday rule again. Don't put them elbows straight across, okay, because it's, it's not attractive. In fact, you can elbows at one angle, eyes at a different angle, okay? You can take and put hands in her face. You can kind of like go up into here and pull this into here and look through there. That's another crazy radical hand movement. Another thing that I've actually done before is where you take, cover your face with your hand. One hand. One. Okay, now that's the natural tendency is when you do that, back of the hand, ugly. So, do a little twist of the hand. Okay, let's get a little twist and your mm -hmm. fingers bend. Don't put your finger in your eye. Like that. Mm -hmm. 
a little side, okay? So now you get the pretty part of the hand and you get the hands kind of half covering the face, bringing a little bit of hair kind of stuff. So those are all kind of radical, crazy things that you can do. So hopefully this is helping somebody and it gives you a little bit of idea about hands and arms when it comes to posing. I knew y'all would enjoy that video. Don't forget, if you're enjoying all these things that I've been posting, follow my page. Talk to y'all next time.